I've been concerned for a long time about the fact that our kids are learning sex education from violent and degrading online pornography. And uh, the next frontier is just around the corner. AI means that you can create deep fake pornography to harass and intimidate people as well. And I, I think social media has kind of escaped from us. We, we are, as parents in particular, at a bit of a loss about how we better, um, how we allow our kids to be connected online without seeing the sort of uh, isolation and mental ill health that has come with a, a extensive social media uh, use and, and how we deal with this issue that our kids are learning really bad relationship uh, styles from seeing the violent, degrading, misogynistic content that's being pushed at them on social media. They're, they're forced by it, aren't they, to be so far advanced beyond their years and their own experiences, their own intimate experiences that they might be having at such an early age? Well, kids are seeing uh, pornography that includes choking and anal sex before they've had their first kiss. Like, is it any wonder that again today we see another report that says that teenagers are at increased risk of being sexually assaulted by another teenager, uh, often someone they're in a relationship with or have been in a relationship with. These numbers are exploding. And if we don't get a handle on it, all of the good work of years of um, sexual assault and domestic violence advocates, governments, everybody who's been involved to try and reduce rates of violence against women, all of that good work is put at risk because of the, the algorithms controlled by you know, um, social media giants overseas pushing this violent and degrading content onto our kids and affecting relationships between men and women. We actually see that this generation, Gen Z, are less likely than previous generations to believe in gender equality. We are actually going backwards. And the biggest influence here, I think, is what they're learning online. Yeah, and it's so uh, easily accessible for them. It's, it's sitting in their pocket, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> They've got pornography in their pocket anytime they want it. And not just pornography, you know, beheadings, murders, extreme violent content. It is having an impact on their brains and on their relationships. What do you, does it make you reflect, and this is no judgment whatsoever, Minister, but does it make you reflect on decisions you made as Absolutely. a parent? early yeah. on. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But because your kids are always telling you, if I'm the only one who's not allowed to use it, I'll be left out. And parents are so worried about their kids being isolated that, that I think quite often, I, I, I'm sure other people, um, you know, are a bit like me. They have their worries, they have their qualms. But when their kids are saying everybody else is allowed, I'm the only one who wouldn't be doing it. You, you I don't know, I've been more inclined to cave than I should have been at times, for sure. For parents watching right now, they'd be looking at you as a parent, but also as a senior frontbencher of the government and saying, well, help us, Minister. What do yes, we do here? Absolutely. And the government is working really hard on this. Um, uh, my colleague, Michelle Rowland, has quadrupled funding for the eSafety Commissioner. There's great resources that you can access online through the eSafety Commissioner. Uh, she's working right now on age verification trials. We've got a parliamentary joint committee set up to look at appropriate ages for social media, um, uh, being able to use social media. We're, we're working uh, on AI. My colleague Ed Husick is working on how we better make sure that the, the next frontier is good that actually is productive, that helps society, that improves it, rather than taking us further down this road of gender-based uh, internet violence affecting us uh, in a way that is um, really bad for society. So across government, we are putting in the effort to do it, but it, I think this is beyond just government action. This is really something we need to grapple with as a society. And I think it's important that parents educate themselves about what their kids are watching online. That the algorithms are pushing violent, misogynistic content, particularly at boys. And unless we get a handle on this, we're going to see higher rates of violence, higher rates of mental ill health and worse societal outcomes in the future.